Hello again. Uh, we're going to do another conversion, but this time it's for the core location project. So what I'm doing tutorial. So we, I already copied the core location project here. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what kind of changes that we have. Okay. Then ask me to convert it because by mistake I opened it previously in uh, uh, Xcode 7. So what I'm going to do is that here I'm going to say file, edit again. Sorry, edit again, convert to the new syntax. Okay. Click on next, next. And let's see what kind of stuff that we have. All right, so we have only changes in the view controller here. Print, print line, no problem. So here we have some, instead of calling some functions, we're setting the properties. Same thing here, destination, we're calling some properties. Print. And here we have, instead of uh, the casting, okay, no, no need to cast anymore. And then we have the, uh, the print line. So a few changes. What else do we have? That's it. So hopefully this would work, but I'm sure it's not. So <laughs> let's click on save. And if we do compile, hopefully, Oh, we have a few errors to make, a few errors to correct. So that's what I was telling you earlier is that there are things that sometimes you will have to fix manually. So let's look at the first error. Now, set source. Well, you don't have a property called set source. You have actually called source. So what you do is that you just type in that and then you get source. Okay, so that, that piece did not convert properly. And same thing here, you need to do destination instead of, which makes sense, okay, destination. Okay. Okay, so that should take in care of that. And let's say hit Command B. Okay, and what do we have here? Cannot convert to, all right. This is what I was telling you is that sometimes you will have to write the code again to get the right syntax. So I got this, this is what I had previously, but it didn't convert properly. So what do I do? I have a direction, this is a direction object that was created, and I have, I'm calling a function in it, calculate direction completion with the completion handler. Well, that syntax changed. Okay, so what do I do? What do I do is that I'll just type, start typing it, say directions, then I say, again, Calculate directions with completion handler, right? Okay. Uh, this, uh, okay. And now here's my code. This is what I should be following, not that one. Okay. And this is your response. So I'll just type in response here. This is my new variable. Should be, I use the same thing so I don't change the rest of my code. And there is, again, and then the error, just type in error here. Okay. Now, you take this out, you take this out, because I have that piece. I have already this part. So all I want is that to replace the header. So I need to do, just take this out, all right? And that should be it. There is one more thing I have to do, okay? Uh, this thing is not uh, unwrapped. Do you want to unwrap it? Yes, we want to unwrap it. And there is this one here. No more curly bra square bracket or uh, bracket parentheses here. So that's how would you call the get directions? Okay, and this is probably need to say let instead of var. Just to summarize. Sometimes uh, you've just seen that sometimes the code is not totally converted and then you will have to do some work yourself. And then the way you do it is that you start typing the same stuff that you had before and then follow the new syntax, all right? So that's how we fix the directions, okay? And then these we can fix. Okay, what else do we have here? Uh, Fix it, replace it, okay, then, okay. This is, we need to unwrap something here, okay. All right, 
So that is your new project with the core location. If you click on, if you run it again, It should work. No, I have issue with this. It should take me to Apple website, but because I'm running it inside a firewall, sometimes it doesn't work. Okay, so it worked. Okay, so now if you want to show directions, directions, it take a little bit of time. By the time you get the directions here, but we got the directions. So your application is converted and ready to go for Swift 2.0. All right, I, as, as I said previously, I will put this code with the project online so you can download it, okay? I uh, will see you in the next one. The next one we will do is JSON, all right? And then make sure that piece works too. I'll see you in the next video.